You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? All right, yeah. We good, then. Right. Episode 61. Shit. That's Thank you cool. for bearing with me, man. We had a couple delays this week. I know Paul, he was like, hey, man, let's try to run it tomorrow. I'm watching the Bulls game, but... You know, we released the pod on the Thursdays. I was like, you know, Gordo's still good. So we're going to run some. Yeah, so I know the Bulls is playing the Jazz tonight. Motherfuckers is definitely trying to get in tune with that game. Facts, facts. Shit, though, what's the vibes, bro? What's your week been like? Man, we've been decent, just chilling, really, honestly, just, you know, doing graphic design work pretty much. Um, working on the NFT project that I got, um, okay. I'm working on. Um, just been chilling, you know, just really yeah. just taking everything in, just trying to, you know, the weather breaking, spring on the way. So I'm just like, you know, today was like 66 degrees in the shaft. So yeah, it was beautiful. Well, got a little bit of air today. It's, it's warming up. It's warming up out here. It was, yeah. uh, it was snowing out here like a few days ago. And then today it was like 61. So Weather can't make up his mind, you know. Yeah, no, nah, no, know what you mean. No, nah, it's definitely gonna be probably cold by next week. We like right. people say we in, the, we in the spring of deception. Hey man, you know how I go, you know how I go. So shit, man, just to recap over the last week, uh shit, we dropped the COD TV episode four. You because, dropped the video too. You tweeted come on, it. You know the vibes. You talking about? They seen us out in New York. They seen us shooting that video. Seen a couple behind the scenes footage, and then we actually dropped the real video. So you seen me and homie, and you know we trying to promote that now. But yeah, you see, you seen us in Brooklyn, you know, walking around, going to Soho shopping and whatnot, chilling, chief and all that. So, yeah, man. The song is booming. We just passed 2K listens on uh, Spotify. So, you know, now you see a number under one of my tracks now. It's just looking crazy. You don't say less than a thousand. So, you know, we we, we moving out here. And uh, like I said, man, we're going to get that beat over to Gordo so we can get that remix popping. (laughs) Keep it moving. You know what I mean? But, yo. So we had some releases that dropped. We had some releases that dropped. Um, what do we think about this? Uh, well, we had we had Benny drop and we had a little Dark drop. What do we think? Let's let's start with those though. Did you listen to any of them? I listen to I listen to both. Um, yeah. You know, I'm a fan of Benny and Dirk. Um, I played. I didn't really play both of them all the way through. Um, I just went to different tracks that I thought were, you know, hot that I wanted to listen to, but. Overall, I really, I really like it. Um, I, I, I like Benny Project the most, honestly, but uh, just because I'm just so stuck on the Griselda rap right now, you know, right, that, right. That, that that vibe is really yeah. where it's at, honestly. You know, I fuck with the drill music, but the Griselda rap drug bars is really where it's at. Oh, yeah. You know, I feel like him and Push in the um, lane of their own right now. Hey, that time to talk for is serious. Yeah. They not they not playing with folk. You yeah, know, I was definitely surprised. Um, it, what's the name of that track? Uh, I think it's like "Bat Me a Nick" or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bust a Nick Brick. Yeah, Bust a Nick Brick. Yeah, that shit. Woo. Crazy. Man, that man's making a name. Really making a a name in the lane for himself in the rap game. Honestly. Crazy. But yeah, um, but yeah, with Dirk shit, I, I fuck with it. Like you know, he had the features. You know, he really came out with the uh, with, with with what we really was expecting. You know, he really came more personal. Yeah, it was yeah, it was, it was deep. It was it was real deeper than what I expected. You know, in, in certain aspects. But it, you know, it was it was it was a it was a Dirk album. You know. Yeah, he did his thing. Yeah, and, and it was just like, and it, I just I really I like the fact that he paid homage to his like childhood home. You know. You know, he grew up in and I felt like that was really, really made the um you know really tied it all the way all the way in. Yeah. But was honestly, yeah, I, I think people really kind of you know going off of the comment that he made that he was like better than Drake or something right now. Something he you said think. that? Yeah, I think something around the lines that hey man, you remember you remember when Wayne was out here talking about best rapper alive since the best rapper retired, so 
you know, sometimes you just gotta, you know, put it in, put it to, into existence and everything else will follow suit. So I ain't mad at it, man. Go ahead. Go ahead and do your thing. Yeah. Now, you know, earlier, I, you know, I'm just scrolling through Twitter and I'm seeing, I'm seeing people bash the Lakers and whatnot. Um, you said the they're not there. bashing. They're not bashing winning times. You know the HBO Max show. Nah, 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 nah. We don't. That shit's we, hot. We don't get into that. We don't get into that. I heard people been bigging that up. Yeah, um, that shit's hot. But nah, but yeah, nah, nah, the Lakers. I know the Bulls. I know the Bulls. Uh, the Bulls. You know we're we're kind of. I think we're at like fourth place last time I checked. So we're we're you know we're going up against the Jazz tonight. We're trying to trying to get a win in so we can uh, improve our standings and whatnot. But I know Skip Bayless, man, speaking about the Lakers, Skip, you know, he had put together a, uh, a highlight, if you want to call it a highlight, but a blooper reel of uh, Russell Westbrook. Now, you know, we went in went, we went in on Westbrook on the last episode. But, yeah, man, let's talk about the Lakers, man. What's going on with them? Because a lot of people are like, it's, it's gone from bad to worse. I mean, it's 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 – it's not what the people expected, you know, like there's yeah. a lot of rumors that, um, you know, they were in talks to get DeMar DeRozan, you know, and that fell through and they end up having to get Russell Westbrook or LeBron was like, all right, just grab Russell. That would be a better option, you know, but it seems like that just, it's just not working out with him, you know, but Russell, he's trying to find, you know, his role or his rhythm or whatever or not, but I just feel like, like you say, it's just, it's, it's not working out for them. And so they, they have been looking into other guard options or getting other potential guards. Like I remember, I remember they were saying that they might pick up uh, DJ Augustine um, veteran guard, but Russell, Russell just ain't got it right now. He, I don't know if he's trying to find a shot or find a player, but somebody, like somebody said, um, they might do a potential trade over the summer. Um, with the New York Knicks uh, in order to get Derrick Rose. Um, uh, what's his name? Fortier? For, I, I don't want to, I can't pronounce the man's name. Yeah. And then uh, Alec, and then it was Burke. Okay. Um, and so, you know, that somebody, that one of the comments that um, I think that somebody said was an NBA executive was saying that, you know, the Lakers need a point guard and that's not something that Russell Westbrook is you know he's just a he's just um a great athlete playing a point guard role as opposed to actually being a true point guard like somebody said like that's why they're looking into Derrick Rose because he's actually a true point guard and they feel that he would be a better fit for them yeah you know? so it's just like like I say Russell's just you know he's just having a really bad shooting year but not to say that he's always been a high percentage three-point shooter that's something that the Lakers should have known when they picked him up but it's just it's just not working out well for them. You know, he's not matching. He's not making the shots that he's supposed to or the shots that they need him to. Yeah. And so it's just like, at this point, you know, he'll probably be a free agent or they're just going to let him go or, or, or put him in a trade package. Yeah, before, like. My bad, my bad. Damn, <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right, bet I'm 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 now on the good microphone. I was on I was on the bad mic for a minute. All right, mm-hmm. not now that we in Dolby Digital. Uh, before before we hit the uh the Lakers on HBO, what do we think about uh Tom Brady coming back? Man, I forget. I had kind of forgot all about that. But then I'm like, damn, he did say he was coming back, right? Yeah, um, that's mm, is it. It is what it is. I just feel like. You know, he having a LeBron moment. I guess he's seeing LeBron score 50 points, but the, the 50 point games, and he's just feeling like, okay, I can still do some shit. But I'm just like, bro, let that shit go. Or did he get around his family and was like, nah, I can't handle this day to day? Hey, that's going to be what it is, too. And shit, he's like, man, like, I'd rather be at practice than be here with y'all. You, you know what I mean? He like, it's too boring right now. He, yeah, he so had, yeah, that shit could that could be a that could be a motherfucking option. The man just he too fuck he he too he like fuck this. <laughs> hey man, you never know. You never know. Never know exactly. What, what's, good I, with, what's good with the uh, Lakers on HBO? Uh, winning times. That shit's yeah. cold. That shit's it, 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 it's taking over my euphoria. Uh, Sundays now since what episode are we on? 
So I think it was episode two uh, okay. or three. Yeah, maybe episode two. But it's decent. It's um, entertained. The last episode was directed by Jonah Hill. Yeah. Um. So it was just really interesting to see, you know, just like how they make a, it's like they're kind of making a satire and comedy about um, how they built, how they built, like how uh, Dr. Buss took the organization over and bought it and everything. And so it's been decent because they saw they talk they show the different characters like Jerry West and his character and his character is very funny as fuck. Well. I'm like, if Jerry West really acted like this, <laughs> it, this would be hilarious to say. I don't think he would have any relationships to the NBA. Right. Um, but yeah, wild, uh, here. wild and the man's hot. Yeah, I gotta tap in then. Yeah, you gotta definitely tune in. It's definitely decent. Like it's entertaining as fuck. Like I didn't. Days. I, I, I had a, like I thought it was gonna be serious, but it's way more. It's way more kind of like funny and yeah, comedy in a sense. You feel me to it? Yeah. Yo, so this Kanye West thing, bro. I'm seeing he got kicked off Twitter or he got suspended for 24 hours. So I'm guessing the the uh, decision was going to be bullying or whatnot, because he been you know he been screenshotting a lot of people's faces, talk about you know who is this, where's the address, you know, just going at him and whatnot. And, oh, and we right. seen we seen Pete put out the text again, you know, the text talk about he in a bed with Kim and whatnot. Where we think this is going? Because you know I think Kanye's got a, a point with the whole you know, get North off of TikTok and whatnot. But a lot of people are talking about Kanye is doing too much. Um, I feel like at this point, it's really just, you know, it's just a mess, you know, it's messy at this point because it's like you say, like, they got Pete messaging people and then they say, like, those text messages might not be real. They might not be, they might be fake. And then I'm just like, I don't really understand, you know, really... Is like is really right now really trying to pinpoint where the, the true core animosity or uh, um like where Kanye anger comes from from Pete. You feel me? Yeah. To, like what he truly did or what truly happened. Like was it the S and the SNL incident or what it was? But I'm just like at this point, I feel like they need to just, you know, Kanye just need to either let it go or just move on. You feel me? Like with his life, because it's like it's not nothing that he can do. You feel me? Like regardless, or not if Kim marries a man or moves and a relationship gets to the point where she wants to marry a man, like, that's cool. Like, just live your life like you're Kanye West. Like, there's nothing, <laughs> like, honestly, like, the best, like, the best thing for him to do for his image or just to just be, like, cool, just stay out the picture, but just make sure that he's still being the good father that he's he seen him be in the past. You, you yeah. feel me? Like, that's, like, that's, that's ultimately the best thing for him. You need to find a colder shorty. I mean, it ain't even about finding a colder shorty because it's just like shit. At the, at, it's just like it's just like if it, even if he he did that, you know, it's just like that's still the mother of his kids. Yeah, you feel me? So it's just like that's the interaction that he's gonna have for the rest of his life. So it's just like for the rest of to the last one hits eighteen. You feel yeah, me? he's got a. So it's just like the best thing for him to do is to just you know try to. Be, it. Yeah, it, not even accept it because it's like shit. We don't even know if this Kim Pete shit is gonna last. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. like, but the thing is, he, he he has to understand like you're forever a constant in that lady's life, regardless. Yeah, you feel me? So that's something that you have to figure out how to be able to accept whatever that position that con- whatever that constant is now. You know, like that's that's what it is. You feel me? Like it's nothing. It's nothing to. It's nothing to bash either one of them or bash. It's like I found the shit entertaining at one point, but it's just like at this point, I'm just like, I don't even really get it. Cause like I say, I'm like Pete sending out messages like, hey, I want to talk and I'll I'll ruin your life and shit like that. I'm like, bro, you really not about that life. Like, like you talking about sending jokes, people send shells, like you know that. (laughs) Like people send real shells. I'm like, I'm like, y'all be sitting there telling all jokes. They be shooting up all the comedy clubs every night. Like, that ain't going to get nobody nowhere. You know what I mean? But I'm just not saying, like, not saying it's, it's got to that level, but I'm just like, that shit. Like, I'm like, what kind of threat is that? You feel me? Like, like, but I'm just like, you know, I feel like if, if that was real, it's just like one of those instances where I feel like they're they're trying to get a reaction out of him mm-hmm. as well. 
but it's just like, like I say, Kanye just had to let that shit go, you know, like I say, he has to, like I say, he just had to understand that he, like his role as a constant within his, her life now before, or it, it's it just like I say, just be the father that you are for your children. Yeah. Like, like Kanye's a good father. Like he's not a bad dad. He out here threatening D.L. Hughley down too. Man, I didn't even get the D.L. Hughley part. Like, what happened with that? So like, D.L. I, I was, D.L. I was, I was had a uh, on the D.L. Hughley part. D.L. had an interview with Vlad or something, and he was talking about Kanye, and he said something about how like Kanye, you're doing too much, blah blah blah. Now another man is fucking your wife. Like he's he he kind of said some some you know some like all right, you don't have to go that shit. far. Yeah. And then Kanye said some shit about like you're broke. I can pay to get you hurt. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> I remember I was reading the part where he was like, DL your ass tweaking. Basically, I didn't know he was saying that he was gonna pay to get him hurt, but I knew I saw the broke part. <laughs> that shit yeah. funny as hell. Oh man. Paul in the building. Let's the- go. There it is. Gee, that's funny as fuck. Yeah, we was just talking about Kanye trying to send hitters at DL Hughley. Hell no, but DL bogus for that shit though. This is like, this is like the thing is, I don't simulation is uh gone haywire. It's just like my thing is, it's just like y'all talk so much shit about other people's personal lives that it's just really weird, you know? Like it's it's weird as fuck. And not to, not to say it's a bad thing, but it's just like. I would wish that, um, you know, like, it's just like, there's like, like I say, like with social media, there's really no, 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 no wall between public and private anymore. You feel me? Yeah. Because it's just like, but even as a celebrity, that thing doesn't really exist as well. Like, but it's like with social media, it, that, that entire, you know, if it was a third wall, you know, or how they talk about in in TV, like the third the wall, fourth break, wall, the fourth wall, breaking yeah. the fourth wall. Like we, that shit's non-existent. You know, as a, celeb- a celebrity, like we are We're in the like, room with them. Yeah, it's, yeah, and it's 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 kind of, and it's like now, like regardless of whether we how we see it, like the perception of that in society is really weird. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. we, like, because, like, think about it. People are be so invested into these people's lives. You feel me, bro? Well, people like, be more invested into their lives than like they are in their own. Exactly, and that's and that shits and it and it gets odd as fuck. And I feel like this is an example of that where it's gotten to the point where it's just like, okay, it's getting really weird, but nobody's really saying anything about it. We're just taking it the neg. We're still talking about the, the negative part about it about how he's fucking somebody like like. Like I say, we get in the negative comments as opposed to like, why are we so invested in these people's lives? Right. I, I got to be real, bro. At first I was like, all right, why are they making this so public? Like they they beefing like this, uh, you know, Skeet and, and whoever else is involved, right? Yeah. And, and uh, at first I was like, man, why is this public? You know what I'm saying? But to be honest with you, when I read Kanye's post and I started realizing the reason that he was posting that stuff is because of his daughter, right? It's yeah. because that fathers are misrepresented in the courts and usually they're all in favor of the of, of the mother, you know what I'm saying? And in most cases, not all cases, I'm not gonna sit here and generalize, but but in, in a lot of times they're in favor of the mother and Kanye doesn't want his, his daughter, you know, exposed to social media, just like what you're talking about, you know what yeah. I'm saying? to get engulfed in social media and to 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 start having honestly to start having those uh, uh insecurities that a lot of people got right a lot of people they they don't feel good unless they get likes or you know what i'm saying um some of the things that they talk about how social media has affected the young people so i i, I kind of see like you know a little bit of a ways coming from like look i gotta put this out there because you know it ain't just me it's yeah, like, like, it is like first of all i don't even know how old north is you know but it's like even then, it's just like, you know, they don't need to really be on social media now. You feel me at this age? Because it's just like you say, there's just so much stuff out there that you really can't protect them from, even with parental blocks and things like that. Like, 100%. Like, it's really like, honestly, like the internet is a really, it's easy, accessible to get where you want to go, like, to be honest. So it's just like nowadays, 
the con the, the content that comes through is really hot. It's not really filtered or anything like that. So I really understand that point as a parent too. So I'm like, I, I don't even know how I would feel when it gets to that point. Like, like honestly, I don't even I haven't even got thought about that, honestly. But it's just like I definitely understand because it's like you don't know what they're censoring and who's watching them as well. You know, it's just like it's like I say, it's a it's a it's it's a two way mirror, you know, with the with the social media stuff. Like, yeah, we're into their lives, but we're showing exposing our lives as well as much. So it's just like And Kanye got his issues, right? Kanye got his issues, but bro, yeah. but bro, the, the Kardashians are notorious, man. And they got a new and they got a new show coming out. Of course. You think, so you think that on. Kim ain't trying to put North in there? Like yeah. Like, come on, yeah, man. That's what he's trying to stop. That's, that's why he's saying. Day, and that's what I say at the end of the Disney day. Disney and Hulu won't raise my kids. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying at the end well, of the day. It's all that's all it's really about is just for. Like with them, it's about money, and he sees how that's entrapped her and seen that how her life turns out. And I'm like, not to bash her or anything like that, but it's just like they do everything for money. So it's like me personally, I wouldn't even be surprised if this is just like for the seat, the story for the season. You feel and you know, you know, a family like them who lives by storylines, you got to think about it like they take it so far to even when the cameras is off, the storyline is still popping. Right. So, you know, you can't necessarily have a storyline without drama. Exactly. I'm sure Kanye sitting there saying, all right, what scandal is my daughter going to get caught up in? 100%. You know, everyone yeah. else was adults, sure, but, like, it did start with Kylie Young, right? Because if 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 you was following their show, Kylie had Tyga as a guest at her Sweet 16 party. And Come then, on. shit, not even two years later because she still was underage when Tiger was walking around saying that he was dating her, right? And then people was like, yo, what's going on? And he put out a song called Stimulated. She a big girl when she's stimulated. Like, you know, like, that's Kylie when she was 16 in that family. And you had to think it wasn't just because she was putting herself out there. It had to be on the fast track or something. Yeah, and then you gotta think about it like that. It's just like the type of people that they're around, you know, like they're around, like they go out to athletes, they're exactly. around, they're, they're around rappers, you feel me? So it's just like those type of people will be around his children, his children. And not only, family. not only did she date a rapper young, but of course you saw the plastic surgery. Kylie right. as a kid doesn't look like Kylie. Yet. Kylie as an adult, you feel me? And, and the thing is, that's something that her fans and the people that go around the world or something, sometimes act, act delusional to. Right. So, you know, Kanye looking at that, like, Hey, what y'all trying to start with my kid? Don't right. get them storylines yeah, nah, out of here. Yeah. Hey, man, you know Chris. You know Chris Jenner. She got a whole playbook, bro. You start them early. You know what I'm saying? She got. Ready. She probably yeah. You feel me? She probably already mapped out motherfuckers' lives already. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. And, and and her being Kanye's daughter and Kim's daughter. You know what I mean? I mean, she's gonna have a lot. She's gonna have a. Yeah, you know, I'm saying, like other like shit. Like I really that's what I'm saying. Other than. The only other celebrity child that she really is under uh, uh, faced against is Blue uh, Blue Ivy. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah. So it's like, and you haven't really seen her in, in the like. She's been in there a little bit, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. But Beyonce and Jay Z keep her they away. Don't, from that. They don't play that. They, they don't play that shit. Yeah. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. Because that's the, the market. Like their children are not their money. You feel me? <laughs> like that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Like yeah. their their family is not their money. You feel me? Their family life is not their money, and that's why I feel like with Kanye and Kim, like that's what the issue now is just like they've made so Kim has always made money off her family life. You feel me? Her private life. Right. That's their blueprint. That's yes, their blueprint, exactly. bro. And exactly. And so it's just like like I say, we got to the like I'm we, like I feel like like I say with the situation has got to the point where it's weird. You feel me? Right. And it's just like because it's like now it's just like this is like this man's your you, your current boyfriend texting your ex-boyfriend like this is weird as fuck. Like Right. Throw hands. What's gonna go down? Like, <laughs> like y'all need to let this shit go. Right. I wish my sixteen year old cousin or somebody would have bought a dude whole talking about this my boyfriend. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> it's gonna be like that scene from Bad Boys too. Hey man, in, in, in Chicago, no, nah, he better not even come in the crib. He better stay down. <laughs> he better stay down the block. 
But look, it's crazy because like, like if you if you think about the mentality of people, right? Like even Jay Z say, like, man, you know, he was talking about paintings and shit and investments and stuff. He's like, man, I can't wait to get this shit to my kids. You know, he said that in the verse, right? And and like and like that's the mentality of most people. It's like I'm gonna build a business, I'm gonna build this, or I'm gonna invest in this, and then I'm gonna pass this down to my kids. You know what I mean? The thing about the Kardashian household is is that they're them them themselves, their bodies and they and they sexual uh, appeal and shit it's always been a you know always been a golden ticket so that's the only way they know so like that so that's why i said like like me knowing that and knowing the history of the situation like i can't i can't really blame kind i think everybody's trying to make it like oh it's about it's about uh ski right and i keep calling him that because that's because i just keep reading his name like that <laughs> but um uh you know they keep like, acting you like don't we don't really like see he, the underlying shit that motherfuckers really don't get out right. of here yeah and it has well, they want to pump up the beef. Yeah. They want to pump up the beef, bro. Between yeah. them, and it ain't really got nothing to do with them. It, yeah. It's a it's a whole lot at play. You know what I'm saying? It's a kid yeah, involved. It's, that, yeah, that's... it's kids involved. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, because that's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, yeah, it's like yeah, he kind of went overboard moving across the street, but shit, it's like he, he it's like possibly taking precaution. You feel me? Like like you like shit. Like I say, like. We don't know what Pete Davidson do. We don't know what what his like. I don't really know much about Pete Davidson. You know? Like I really don't. I just know he's a funny motherfucker, and people seem to like him. He he kind of he like I've seen a couple skits. I like him, but other than that, I don't know his personal life. I don't know what he goes through. I don't know. Like the first time problem. I heard his name, the first time I heard his name, I was like, man, that's that Saturday Night Live dude. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's like, but it's just like, but it's like the thing is, motherfuckers got to think about it as parents, like as 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 a as a, as a parent, as a father like shit you know we don't know who like yeah he come around you feel me but it's like we don't know who these people in and as a as a parent i don't trust anybody around my child that i don't truly know especially in hollywood bro it's a you bunch of yeah. and that's what i'm saying it's a bunch of fucking garbers you feel me like yeah. uh, it, come on like it, it's just like shit like that so it's just like uh, it, it's understandable but it's like it's like i say the shit is just getting to all right, I don't, I don't, I don't. Hey, hey, the people ain't forgot, man. Yeah. The people, the ain't DL, forgot. like I said, the DL Hughley comment just was unnecessary. Just niggas just trying to make a name out of the situation. <laughs> That's all really deep. Yeah. Hey, yo, hey, Kanye posted up like this grown man dressed himself. <laughs> like, right, he's going crazy. Like, he going yeah, because I would have been like, boy, I'm like rich people. I'm like, you got to you, you got too much rich business that you ain't got nothing to do with, bro. You flop, like you let motherfucking Cedric and Chain and all them kill you. Like move around. But honestly, bro, I think people just be doing that just to just to be a part of the, you know what I'm saying? Just to just like to create something. Yeah, because Kodak, because Kodak, man, he posted that shit about you know Kim too, flirting with Kim and shit. You know, I'm like, come on, bro, you know, like, you know what's like, going like, on, all right? Huh? I mean, but it's like niggas like that. It's like shit. Ain't nobody paying attention to Kodak or none of them for real, for real. But it's just like I say, niggas just want they little 15 minutes of fame. Right. He want to be in a conversation. You know what I'm saying? He want he want Kanye to say something to him. Get their name. That's buzzed. all it is. Yeah, get their name buzzing for a minute. Right. That shit crazy. And I like Kodak too. But he he was wilding with that. Yeah, I mean, he know. always be wild enough. So I wouldn't even. He one of the motherfuckers. I wouldn't even say nothing to. But like I say, he, he, he would have been like, I would have been like, bro, mind your motherfucking business, you bro. <laughs> for real, that's it. <laughs> mind your business, fam. Like you, bro. Move around. <laughs> hey, so we spoke about the we were speaking about the uh Bulls and Jazz earlier, and I was like, you know, I think Paul watching the game. No, no, I I turn the game on, but check it out, bro. Check it out, bro. The Bulls, we got Caruso back. We need some love right now, right? We need some defensive love, man. What you think, bro? I fuck with Caruso being back. You know, they've been held in motherfuckers under a certain amount of points and shit, you know. So it's been decent, you know. I just feel like that's what we need, but it's just like we still got to learn how to beat these big top teams. You know, it's playoff time. You feel me? So like, like the Jazz is one of them decent teams. You know, um, uh, you know. So this is like we got to beat these these big teams come playoff time because like shit, we can make it out the first round, but it's like second round you're gonna be facing some somebody that's you know not going. You feel me? So this is like right. we got to get that shit together on both ends of the floor. So it's just like. I feel like we picking up, you know, the, the defensive end. Uh, somebody just said that uh, Patrick Will will be back. He doing yeah. um, he doing full body contact now, so you know that's a good look for us. You know, he a big he a big uh, help on the defensive end for us. But it's just like, like I said, we gotta uh, figure some shit out with um, just 
motherfuckers just getting getting it together just when it come down to these games like like I say like we gotta close shit out and then we like I said we gotta beat these top teams so we can go ahead and you know really establish ourselves in the league because like right now I'm not even gonna stunt the way it's looking it's gonna be a Brooklyn it's gonna be a Brooklyn world right Brooklyn look nasty because if that boy if that boy if they if like what they releasing these mass mandates and all that shit and they say that man can play Kyrie can play he dropped it's 60. Gonna, it's gonna be ugly. Yeah, he he just dropped, yeah. Like I say, he just drops he just dropped the 60 points uh Nets franchise record high. So right. Like I said, you say, know what's yeah. crazy, bro? Io, we knew he had good defense, right? He a rookie, first of all, right? Yeah, we knew he had good defense, but when Caru- Caruso came back, he had a lockdown game. So I'm imagining when Lonzo come back, it's gonna be even uglier, right? Defensive yeah. wise, and, and, I mean, but it shows but you got to think about it like that. Is but that's a lot of small ball. You feel me? Right, right, hundred percent. And that's and that's, and, that's and, that, and that and that can get us somewhere. But it's like it also is a dangerous on the other end of the floor. You feel me? If they got a big man like you know Yoke and Joel right. and B, like that's not going to work against them. You know, and then hopefully you know, Tristan. Hey, hopefully Tristan step up. I mean, Tristan. Yeah, it should he got three rebounds right now? Three points, one assist. So we will see. Right. First quarter, first quarter, yeah. three rebounds. Come yeah. on. No, nah, they in the second quarter right now, but he got three rebounds. Right. So I'm oh, like, shit, you know, he he's doing what he can do, shit. So I'm like, that's all I can expect from him. But this is like, I'm hoping over over on the off season we go get a, get us a power forward or a, a decent size uh, big man. See Tristan Thompson, another Kardashian situation. Come on, yeah, man. exactly. And that's you feel me? Like we don't want that shit to come out. You feel me? Because. This lady, you know, she was just talking about his ass cheating all the time. And I'm just like, yeah, that's it. We don't need that. We don't need that locker room drama. No, man. No, man. Keep that Rolling Stone shit. We got, got a lot of young boys that don't need that rocking you. That, 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 that drama. You feel that type of influence, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we don't need that locker room drama. Like yeah, no, no, we, don't need that veteran, we don't need that veteran presence. No, no, no. But I think we're gonna be straight, man. I, I just feel like uh, I feel like the last couple of games that we got our asses whooped. Cause I'm gonna say it, we got whooped, right? To me, um, it, it, it really showed them their weaknesses, bro. It, it showed the it showed the other players than the ones that we naming uh, that they gotta step up in certain areas. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. cause them, them dudes ain't gonna always be there, bro. Yeah, like and, like Kobe has to find his consistency. Um, one of the one of the main persons because I, I like Kobe White. You feel me? But but I feel like if he don't really find a rhythm or consistency now that he's back from his injury, they will put him up for trade, you know, because he's he, he like he ha- he has some value out there. You know, he's young. He is shooting guard. He can, he can score the ball. So it's yeah. just like I like him. But it's like I feel like we are overloaded at the guard position. But it's like we 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 can make it work. You feel me? If we if they figure out how to do it, you feel me? Right. But they like I say, they got to commit to both ends of the floor. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But like wow. I say, this gonna be a good. Like I said, but this is gonna be a good year to see first year back in the playoffs. You know, we gonna we gonna make some noise. You know. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Hopefully, we get it. You know, we can take this time to you know figure out the the weaknesses. Uh, like wait, Paul wait. was saying, and you know, by the time we do have the playoffs, it's gonna. Hopefully, we can we can focus on that and you know start working some things <laughs> out. Start, yeah, you know, shit, getting a better plan. Like shit, you, know, you never know, shit. We can still go all the way. Fuck exactly. Hey, bro, they might. They, hey, Lonzo come back. They might make a run, man. Hey, they man. might make a run. Oh, man, this I'm, Chicago. Hey, I'm, 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 Brad DeMar <laughs> to the end. Fuck is you saying? Oh, my God, out of here. Chicago to the world, bro. Hey, I'm, <laughs> saying, hey, I'm, rocking, I'm rocking to the world, bro. Oh, <laughs> you know, the dark forest, nah, nah, MVP. nah. Uh, Paul, man, speaking of to the world, blow, you know, I got to ask you this. You know, as we spoke about it earlier briefly, but I got to ask the resident expert, Meryl, what do you think about Tom Brady going back to the field? Bro, you right. know what was gonna happen? Listen, listen, listen. I kind of figured it was gonna happen. First of all, the memes that's what are everyone funny. Hey, the memes are funny as hell. Like fuck them kids. Exactly. He went home, yeah. Two weeks at home was like fuck them kids. He came yeah. back. Hey, hey, but you know what, man? Look, and 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 the coach of Tampa Bay was talking that shit. He said that if Tom decided to come back, he wasn't gonna take him. You know what I'm saying? Small violin for that motherfucker. Because I already yeah. knew. Because I already knew. <laughs> Who, hey, hey, who's not going to take Tom Brady, bro? Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, like, 
there's no team in the league who's not gonna take time. You know, they said they said the uh, what's it called was in limbo too. The uh, bu- some of the Buccaneers players. So right. This information right now is kind of like, all right, y'all gonna stay on or what? Tom's right. back. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is, bro. He's a he's a great quarterback. Yep. You know, Buccaneers still got a chance to compete. Yep. I mean, I, I I I can tell you for for a fact that most teams were like, fuck. <laughs> you know, most teams were like, fuck. <laughs> they were, like, gotta it, it gives them a you know a run for their fucking money. You feel me? Like now he now they gotta actually kind of work harder. You feel me? Like shit, because it's like it's like shit. You know, they always put Tommy. They put him in the. They put his ass up there. You feel me? Every day he's every year he's a contender. You feel me? Contender. So it's just like shit. It's just like, you know, when he sat his ass down, motherfucker, it's like when Jordan sat down, you feel me? Like motherfuckers like, all right, fuck it, I can go win now. You feel me? Like, right. no, nah, they like, now nah, he's, no, nah, they like, damn, again, nigga? Like, again? Right, right. A hey, team started making trades and making moves and then. He like, like, motherfuckers out here talking about, I'm finna do LA, hey, I ain't gonna stunt. Charges were trying to get motherfucking. They trying to load up. You feel me? Trying to make a repeat. You feel me? Because they talking about they finna get Khalil Mack. I, 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 I my nigga. You feel me? I'm boy. They. I'm sitting here. G man. They, I look, I'm like they say. They say fucking Tom gone. You finna try to run his bitch up. Like, but I'm like now his ass back. So motherfuckers definitely gonna have to you know pay respect and, and, and be on the lookout. Cause like I say, shit. Even without yeah. AB and all that, they a threat. You feel me? Like yeah, they bro. They're a threat. Yeah. Like Tom Brady's a threat on the field. Yeah, right. And with Tom back, guaranteed the Bucks are gonna look to assign some more receivers because that's what they were missing last year. They wouldn't have lost if AB was playing. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real. They wouldn't have lost if AB was playing. He was short a receiver. Exactly. Yep. So. So yeah. I mean. It's, it's going to be interesting, man. You know, as always, I got to hope that the Bears do something. I got faith in Justin, and they've been making some moves, and they got rid of Khalil. But then the, today, I don't know if it was today, but they just picked up that big that big dude from uh, the Bengals. Uh, I can't I can't pronounce his name, but um, I just know they had got rid of Khalil and Mack, and I was like, damn. Oh man, it hurt. That hurt. Uh, it hurt. Like, but it's like shit, got to let his ass go. They're trying to get younger motherfuckers in so we can make that, you know, get at least a young two together and then go make a push for some shit. But it's like shit. I'm like, he was really a a, a, a key component to our fucking, you know. Defense, for sure, bro. Defense. So I'm just like, that shit going to hurt. Feel me on the field. Yeah. I'm hey, like, shout out to, hey, shout out to Khalil Matt, man. Chicago. Yeah, man. We, definitely, we definitely fucking respect you over here in Chicago. Like, you, you did your thing, bro. You appreciate that. Yeah, 100%. I'm like, you definitely gonna be missed out there on the field because I'm like, shit, when you was injured and hurt and not on the field, I definitely was missing your ass. Hurting, yeah. hurting, man. Yeah, and you put Aaron Rodgers on this motherfucking ass so many times. Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. You know, shout out to that for that. So, I mean, hey, we got baseball back too. Oh, oh yeah, they, the did, word, yeah, the yeah word. they did definitely um, say they think they're gonna uh, start, I think, April 1st, right? Yeah, April first, and look, look. So, so it's confirmed. You know everything that I said last time. I had to read up on it. That's what they were. That's what they were doing. They were they were fighting for you know um, uh, guaranteed money for yeah, they contract uh, players. players. Right, yeah, yeah. right. So they got some guaranteed money. So I, I mean, I respect that. I yeah, respect it makes it makes sense. Shit, it's like shit. You know, it's like baseball is a really long game. Like them contracts be 13 fucking years. So it's just like if I'm gonna commit to a 13 year contract, I need to at least have something guaranteed in this motherfucker. You feel me? Like okay. that's a it's like shit. That's just walking into a candy store and just buying the shit on display and you got a whole fucking pocket full of cash. You feel me? Bro, like bro, you could know? slide you could slide for a base and rip everything in your leg. Yeah. And, and if you ACL, come on, man. Oh, yeah. And if you don't have no guaranteed money, what oh, you doing? Over. You what you doing? You just sitting over there. You feel over me? No? And then because it's like because it's like think about it. You unlikely to get picked up. You feel me? Especially if you're not one of those motherfuckers. You feel me? So it's just right. like that. It makes sense. You know, people got to make a. Hey, I need two meal, three meal guaranteed. Because if I go out of that, mo- if I go out, I'm going out, and I need to make sure I can take care of my motherfucking family, like. Take care of my family, and we going and we going from an eight bedroom to a, a four bedroom real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we gonna make it affordable. You feel me? Right, real quick. It, 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 but it's like shit. That's power to the players. You know, I feel like 
even now with just like shit, you know, with the um, college, you know, the college athletes being able to, you know, get bread now and make money. So it's like shit, you know, it, 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 power to the players, you know, anything yeah. that can help them, you know, create, you know, stability for themselves and for what they what they trying to build within what they're on the, within themselves. You feel me? Like that's that's beautiful. Because I'm like shit. The NBA players get guaranteed money. Shit. You feel me? Like I feel like that's just something that should be in regardless what a, whatever extracurricular activity you in, mm-hmm. you're doing because injury is always a risk. You feel me? Right. And some of those injuries are like career end. You feel me? Right. Hey, it's funny, man. I was uh, uh, speaking of sports. I was uh, online looking at some stuff because you know Russell Wilson's coming here to Denver, right? Yeah, Russell's coming here to Denver, and it's funny as hell because like I'll say like the first fifty comments on a post that I read was like, man, I'm just happy Sierra gonna be in the area. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, is she gonna be there? Nah, hey, that's gonna be hey, that's gonna be decent. Y'all that's scoping? What, somebody hey. shit though. Somebody ready. Said that's funny as hell. That's funny as hell, man. Hey, Russ. Hey, Russ gonna have a good run, man. The Broncos is a good team. We gonna yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a, de- a, a decent team to look at. Now, I put them. Up. It definitely put them up there. You feel me? Like they, they, mm-hmm. they definitely gonna be up there now. Right. Yeah, I feel like that, man. I feel like they're gonna do their thing. They're gonna do their thing this year, man. I'm just, I'm just happy that you know, not to say the world's back to normal, but we got some kind of semblance of normalcy. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just, uh, you know, everything that's happening in the world. I mean, shit, it is back to normal shit. We always got a war going on. In, in, in reality, if we keep it one hundred, shit, it, it's like shit. We, shit, we was in Afghanistan. The war in Iraq was for the other twenty fucking years. If we just keep it, if we being honest, like I'm pretty sure that shit lasted from two thousand. Or when I, damn the 2004 when I was a shorty damn until fuck it when I was damn in like college like if we just being honest like shit so this would be back to a sense of normalcy but it's just like it's just fucked up that this is our normal you feel me like yeah. and I saw in China man I saw in China and in the eastern uh uh and, and in the east um Pacific islands and shit that uh they was having a resurgence of the coronavirus yeah um, they going on lockdown again. Man, they on lockdown again. They on lockdown, on lockdown again. Because they right, not going to play. What we always say, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Wear your mask, always. you feel me? <laughs> man, <laughs> never I'm like, saying that. I'm just looking at that shit. With everything that's going on, bro, like, please don't let that shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. come on, yeah. man. You know, if, if Biden going to give us a stimmy, he just gave Ukraine a fucking billion. Fuck is you saying? I'm oh, with bro, it. Fuck bro. is you saying? He ain't camping. I, I just read a tweet talking about don't tell me you can't cancel the student loans. We just seen y'all give 14 bill to Ukraine. You feel Stop me? Just gave, just I don't want to be a, selfish. Just gave them a bill. They gave them a billion this week, I think. You feel me? Bro, like, no, I, I don't want to be selfish. Bro, I'm just like, I don't want to be selfish, but. <laughs> bro, but I'm just like, can I get somebody that work at the U.S. Treasury to just make me yeah, an account bro. and just pay me and just be like, bro, we're going to give you a billion in this account and ain't nobody going to know about it. Like, that's all I need them to do. Hey, hold on, nine hundred hey, billion. They pay nine hundred. The owner of Board AP Yacht Club, then. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Hey, nine hundred billion, bro. Nine hundred billion dollars is what they gave Ukraine, bro. Wow. Like, like it was nothing, right? Don't tell me that you don't got money for something. Right. I, the U.S. government. You hold know, on, so what comes with that money? Because you know it ain't free money. Did we just buy Ukraine? And, and I mean, it ain't really the government's money either. It's our money. Yeah. So, so did we buy Ukraine? Ah, I better be able to go over there soon. Be treated like a king. No, I went on nine hundred billion. Hey, we 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 bought you. It was <laughs> it was thirteen point six billion. I think, uh, yeah, okay. 13.6. Okay. But I'm it's perfect. like 900 mil. It's 900 million pounds. That's what it is. Like 900. Okay, okay. That's what I saw. That's what I saw. Yeah. Okay, my bad. My bad. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, damn. I'm like, we gave the people 900. I'm like, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Like, hey. you know, everybody is stimming in this bitch. You giving out 900 billion like that. I'm about to say, I'm about to say it's some shit that I ain't got. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, I'm like, he the man. What the fuck is you saying? I'm like, oh, bro, right. I would never give a motherfucking 900 billion. I'm like, shit. Hey, these damn the, Crashed and burned. He ain't get like he ain't write no checks for no nine hundred billion now. Oh, no, absolutely. Nah, no, nah, no, nah. No. We know that. Yeah, but no, it's just like yeah, it's just it, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> we know that. 
Damn. It's crazy the assistance of motherfucking money, like the, the, like how they use that shit. Like you see, like he like he didn't fucking cancel student loans, but you giving out billions of dollars, like right. bro. And then you telling us we still gotta pay student loans. Like we looking at you, like like I say, it's just like all right. You know, so people so crazy. scared about canceling student loans, right? They act like, well, I had to work. I mean, I'm just thinking of the the normal politician response. And, and, it's, and it's becoming apparent to me that it's the same across both files. So it's one of those pull your bootstraps up. I had to work so you can do it to American dream bullshit, you know? So when I'm thinking about it, it's I'm like, like the economy is way crashed and burned. Think but, about it. Think about it though. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like this. I'm thinking about, I'm, this is like me speaking directly to these people. Like say, say you do forgive the student loans then. what else then? What next? I mean, at that point, everyone's still going to be at the same level. If you cancel out student loans for everybody, what does it really change? You act like you're giving somebody yeah, yeah, a that, huge I mean, leg up. Like, yeah. In actuality, you are giving them a leg up. But if you do it for everybody, I mean, what's really going to change? The rich is still going to be rich. Rich, yeah. But it, like, it, it is, gonna, it no is going to healthcare. stimulate the economy like crazy because now instead of paying back them student loans, you can take that money and put that on, uh, on a house. You can spur the real estate market like crazy. Right? 100%. That car, the auto industry going to go yeah, crazy. We don't know. I mean, yeah, like, like just spending, like, come on, bro. But it's just like the thing is, but it's like they probably predict as well. It's just like, because you think about it, like, yes, the marketing economy could possibly really bang and boost, but it's just like they don't want to take that risk because at the end of the day, you know why? It could potentially create more millionaires. Right. And hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. You feel me? And, and, and that's, that's, the, that's it. The, they acting like that, that, that money ain't ours anyway. Right. They taxing us every year. Us as single people get taxed the most, first of all. You act like the government ain't got no money. The only money they got is tax money and money they get from tariffs and taxes, which come yeah. from us, which the majority come from us anyway. And shit they, and they, and shit they apprehend from motherfucking drug cartels and shit. Yeah, like exactly, that. bro. <laughs> that, you, tariffs and taxes. You acting like, you acting like, hold on. You are, you, are, you are literally clearing the debt of educated people, people who took the opportunity to go educate themselves. Yeah, and better the society. Yeah, like that's the, that, and that should be, and that should be like the benefit of fucking education. You feel me? Like, yes, if you're gonna take the time out to be educated and to get a degree, you should be that should that's a benefit for society. You feel me? So you right. should be rewarded. You should be rewarded for it. You feel me? You shouldn't right. be put into debt for it. You feel me? Like that's the that's the that's like that's really a fucking goofy ass perception of how we silly, how man. we do it. You feel me? Like we this person wants to better themselves and educate them. You, so we're gonna go ahead and put them in debt and make them take out loans like that. Does, that that hey, man, doesn't work. You've been that graduating. Out, you know, outlook be rosy as hell. You'd be like, I'm about to change the world. All of a sudden, it's like, yo, your first payment due Monday. Damn, let me just get a job real quick. Right, right. Now you just not, working not something just to, to pay that do back. The shit that I, I want to do. <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. So Play now that's that's another thing that they put on your head when you get out because it's like, yo, I got to pay this back. Like win, lose, or draw. Right. And now you, like you said, you know, you just doing something just to do it doesn't matter if it's in your degree or not if it's what you studied to do or not a yeah, lot of people probably don't end up doing what they studied to do just because it's like i'm trying yeah. to make money and pay this yeah you need to make this bread i can't even focus on really breaking yeah. into the field right yeah. right that's why i feel like the world should just stay like on some like forest shit you feel me like we should have never <laughs> <laughs> we should have never really advanced <laughs> <laughs> really advanced past small villages, <laughs> you know. Now I know why. Now I know why people. Like shit, uh, I can't handle it. I'm gonna like say it. now I know why people live off the grid. They like I ain't paying that 150 thousand back. Fuck that. Like I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an engineer. I'm about to build this shit in the woods. <laughs> I would have been, been the main nigga. I'm like, bro. I would have, yeah. I would have had me a little couple pieces of gold. Like, bro, come on, build me a crib in the woods and, and make it efficient for me. You feel me? Like, yeah. I'm not doing this shit. But, nah, that's true. but it's just like, yeah, no, I definitely, I definitely understand. You feel me? Like, yeah, shit. that's shit crazy, bro. They find money. For, hold on, they find money for everything else. 
but they want to argue us down about education, bro. Education. I to education. You feel me? Like that that that's the really like that's the really fucked up part about it. Cause it's like y'all sit um y'all sit around and pass dumbass laws that really just like what the fuck are y'all really thinking? Like Honestly, this daylight saving law, like that's the most dumbest shit that one fucking to sit around. Like, y'all really sit around. This, and, man. What, y'all really sit around. Like, law? yeah, let's make a let's make a law to really, you know, make sure that daylight saving don't happen ever again. Like, that's, that's what they trying to do. Yeah, they passed that shit. They know what they tried to do. They did. Yeah. <laughs> you still got to pass the house, right? Yeah, still got to pass the house, but they tend to be passed it through one level of that shit. You so if that, if that passes the house, then it gets signed or whatever. It's just no daylight savings again. Ever. Bro, we ain't hey, bro. We ain't never we ain't never running the clock back. <laughs> so like, what the fuck is that even, like how does that even how does that even work for us? You feel me? Like I don't even know the stipulations of that. You feel me? I know I I, I heard I had a friend on online uh, that was on Snapchat talking about that shit, talking about if you're not a psychologist or none of that shit, don't really talk to me about it. It's really beneficial for people that have seasonal depression or something like that. I'm like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Yeah, I'm like, right. if I wake up that sad, if I wake up as, if I, first off, if I wake up and I look outside and it's still fucking dark at eight, eight o'clock in the fucking morning, I'm not finna do shit. Right. Until the fucking sun come up. You feel me? Like that doesn't like, you motherfuckers pushing the clock back doesn't doesn't stop the fact that the, the sun's still not gonna be in the fucking sky like that mm-hmm. like 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 I don't understand like that's not pushing that motherfucker back not it's not gonna change the way light comes in and the sun rises you feel me exactly so it's just like get old like we've been like first off and then most of the time like the people that are doing like talking about the shit bro you're a thirty you're you're damn near in your thirties. Yeah. <laughs> like, like you're not a child like this is something that you've done dealt with your entire life so at the end of the day it's just something that you can live with yeah you feel me because, because before they came out talking about this shit you weren't making complaints about daylight saving all the time other than the fact that you were tied the next fucking day so all this motherfucking oh it's really gonna be beneficial for my health and all that shit man fuck all of that you motherfuckers just make complaints like I say it's a lot of lame ass shit that is going on you feel me like motherfuckers just Make like I say, we make we pass the laws about the fucking time. Yeah, which time is really a fucking contract that we all fucking made. Mm-hmm. That holds no. Really, you feel me? That really holds no. Like, because the thing is, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do at whatever time of the day. Like I said, man, lower gas prices and fucking clear these student loans, bro. Why are we talking yeah, about the time? Man, that's all we need to know. Y'all, y'all are tripping. <laughs> gas prices is nasty. <laughs> like, exactly like like but it's like i say like you say like we back to some type of normalcy like i feel like we did it almost in 2007 except for fucking right right, right before the shit crap. Crap. you feel yeah. me like shit chips ain't four dollars shit that's the only thing <laughs> yeah. i mean chips ain't four four dollars shit four four, four like, dollars like, yeah that was a good old day shit. like right. honestly Hey, I saw somebody post something like, man, who we need to put, we need, we need to put whoever keeping those Home Depot uh, hot dogs at a dollar fifty in charge of gas. Hey. <laughs> you ain't even know Home Depot sold hot dogs. They always got like a little hot dog stand. It's funny, man. <laughs> oh, baby, they used to have a hot dog stand in that motherfucker when I was a kid. Nah, yeah. Nah. yeah. I ain't, I ain't, see, I ain't really been to Home Depot as an adult, so it's just like, yeah, before I got this, uh, before I started doing what I'm doing now, I used to work in construction, so we used to b- pop in there. Them hot dogs good, too, man. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> that's yeah. super funny, man. But I go stand on hot dogs, that bitch is the best. Hey, man, real real adult problems out here. You know, we talking about gas, we talking about... I mean, shit, it's like, shit, that's really what the news right. is now, shit. Other than that, shit, I mean, shit, think about it. You know, but other and then I really want to talk about the Brittany Griner uh, situation. You feel me? Like, you know, she's still locked up. Not really no information on her situation on whether she's gonna be free or not, and if she's like what is like how she's doing. You feel me? Like, and that's just so fucked up. Yeah, man. You know, Putin using her as a political chip. You know, he gonna she, he gonna try to. I mean, he in the wrong right now. He all the way in the wrong for this Ukraine shit, bro. Yeah, oh, definitely. And it's messing everything up. So he he's gonna use it as a as a as a chip to to play, you know, in negotiations uh, uh, in the future. She ain't going nowhere. Hold on, she's facing for like marijuana or something or something like that or vape. She's facing ten Cash years. Oil. 
Bro, she's Hadish, facing Hadish or Ash or whatever they call it. She facing 10 years. 10 years. Come on, guy. Like, <laughs> come like on. Like a player that plays on the and she plays for the Russian team. Hey, exactly. So it's really weird, you know, like <clears throat> excuse me. It's like it's weird as fuck how they really they spin in the situation. Cause this is like if she's an athlete, I'm like, I'm pretty sure she's just smoking, you feel me? Right. Like, even when she's out there like in Russia distributing drugs and shit, like, come on now, like right. She out there like Pablo. You feel me? But it's just like they, you feel me? Like they trying to make it seem like she Pablo Escobar and that bitch, like she moving all the oil throughout the country and that bitch, shipping that shit overseas. Like, boy, they tweaking. I don't, but like I say, it's a fucked up situation. And she, like you say, she gonna be definitely used as a little pawn and toy to, you know, get Russia out of, like, really out of the hot seat. And, you know, like I say, I just pray that she can come home. You know, I feel bad for, you know, cause it's like, think, think about it. Had this been like some nigga like Kevin Durant or some shit like that, the NBA was gonna go over there themselves. <laughs> no, no doubt. Like, cause think about it, she's think about it, she's a premier player in the W in the WNBA. You feel me? But it's like she's not being this shit. The situation is really not being taken in the severity that it is. You feel me? Like nobody knows what's going on with this lady. The U.S. Embassy not really reaching out and saying what's going on with the situation. Like it's fucked up. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. And they really don't. You know, it's as messed up as it is to say. You know, they always say like a policy, and I don't know if this is an official policy, but like, oh, we don't negotiate with terrorists. And right now, um, that's kind of how people looking at Putin, you know what I mean? So I'm wondering, like, maybe the silence or maybe the lack of information is because of, you know, it's because of uh, uh, them not really wanting to negotiate with with, uh, with Putin. So yeah, and that's what it really could be, too. Like, shit, his ass really, because it's like, shit, think about it, he's really erratic. Like, he's because he, he's thinking about it, he's. Constantly telling people he's gonna stop the shell and they're gonna let people get through and all that and leave cities, but they don't stop. Right. And so it's just like, what the fuck is actually your situation and what's going on? Yeah, and the, and the uh, president of Ukraine, um, he, he keeps calling for for U.S. aid and U.S. backup, man. I, and I understand that, you know, at this moment in time, that they don't, you know, the U.S. doesn't want to get involved militarily. I'm kind of wondering why. I mean, he keep calling for the U.S., but man, what's going on with the? Uh, What's going on with my boy? Uh, 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 I mean, with the EU, not my boy, but what's going on with the EU? What's going on with the UN? Like y'all over there? Like you know what they what they doing? Why we got to come over yeah, there? Bobby, it's like <laughs> shit. You got to think about it like this. We just always the motherfuckers say we the powerhouse of the world. You feel me? So it's like shit. They it's like shit. They they the little brother getting picked on right now. So they thinking we finna come out there and fight their battle in the sense you feel me. But it's just like because they keep. I, I think the one thing that they keep on requesting from the UN and NATO and America is that they get a no-fly zone, you feel me, put up. Right, exactly. Where even Russia planes can't come in, you feel me? But the thing is, I feel like with that, that makes it where those motherfuckers still gonna try to come in. So it's just like, that makes them, if that happens, we have to intervene as well, you feel me? So now that brings other motherfuckers to in play and then Russia could be looking at that like, oh, y'all niggas jumping up on me now. So it's like, all right, fuck it, I'm gonna go we don't know what the motherfuckers really. The thing is, we honestly, I don't know. We don't know what that man got over that G. Yeah, and and, and Biden just uh, he warned him. He ain't threatened him. He warned him. He said, "Hey, man, don't don't use like you know mustard gas and and, and those uh, uh nasty gases and, and chemical weapons. Yeah, chemical warfare, bro. Um, um, which I believe uh, the Treaty of Versailles, if if I'm not mistaken, was what outlawed them, outlawed yeah. chemical warfare." And uh, yeah, man, Biden kind of gave him a warning, like, don't do that. You know what I mean? Because that's that's. I mean, that really pulls everybody into it. Yeah. Because uh, it's because then it becomes a humanitarian thing. You, you know, you you. Yeah. It's genocide. So right yeah. now they're at war. It's one country against another. I know Ukraine's asking for aid, but man, I just you know I just hope it's over soon, man. I just hope that they you know figure something out or or Putin gets his mind right. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly, yeah. Um, same. Yeah, he gets gets his mind right, but you know, yeah, the, yeah, the situation with uh with the um basketball player over there, it's, it's unfortunate, man, and she's probably gonna have to ride this conflict out. Yeah, she for probably- a while. But yeah, because it's like shit. If they can't really get her home or or some type of like uh bail or whatever, it's just like man, she's definitely gonna be sitting there for a while, which is fucked up. But 
like I say, I'm praying for uh Brittany Griner's situation. Um, you know, free her. You know, like I said, it's yeah. just fucked up that they using her the way they are. Um, but you know, she hopefully she'll be home soon. You know, you know she's a hell of a player. You feel me? Like we definitely want her to be back soon and safely. Um, yeah, nah. Uh, and on a lot of notes, we talked about Bel Air last time. You start watching it? Oh man, I watched it. I watched it. I, I'm actually, like, I caught up. I caught up. That shit. Hey, <laughs> hey, it, 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 I, I like it, but I, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a different type of like it. You feel me? Like, um, I don't know. Like, it's hard to describe. It touches the punch strings, bro. It yeah, make you feel like, some kind of way. It's just like I don't like. It's just like it's weird. The triangle part, the love triangle shit that they got going on. I didn't expect that, and then just Carlton character kind of threw me all the way left. Bro, bro, they got. Car- I'm gonna be real with you. They they played Carlton so good, right? Because I because you love to hate them type of deal. Yeah, it really because I'm like I see how they like motherfuckers kept on saying, bro, he gonna grow up into be a mother, one of the, uh, a beloved character. And I'm like, gee, I see it coming. But I'm just like, I can't stand the way he was acting. Like he was acting like a straight fucking coon. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, hey man, hey, 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 he was, he was, he was acting, you know. And, it, and it's funny, but you watch all of them, right? You caught up. Yeah, I watched all. I'm a, okay. The, so I'm how afraid. they explained it? How they kind of explained it? How a girl explained it was was like when people grow up in a certain situation, when you grow up in a certain environment, and you by yourself. Right, you adjust. You start, you know, you want to make friends and be be accepting and shit. So yeah. you start, so you start letting shit slide, and you start adjusting to how they live. And yeah, you know, and I, mean? I was like, that's some cornball shit. But I'm like, <laughs> I I understand, I guess. But I'm right. like, but, but but check it out. That's just like, hold on. For example, I'm gonna bring up a Chicago example. That's like that's like in Chicago. If like uh, uh, uh so like a, a Mexican cat grows up in a black neighborhood, or a black guy grows up in a Mexican neighborhood, right? He kick it with all Mexicans. So he's so everything he learns and, and everything he because I've seen this, right? And yeah. I know you have too. Like, like everything he do is is damn near, you know, with, with the, their culture. Because that's Ooh. how he uh, that's how he grew up, and that's how he, you know what I'm saying? That's how he grew up, and that's how he uh he they came up. So you know, they rocking. Yeah, I feel you know, I definitely get that C. This man is us and KO. Hey, kid, the cod. <laughs> you feel me? Denied. <laughs> hey, the nine, the nine. We out here, man. man. Hey, man. That's yeah, what we're I, I fuck with it. I, I definitely I, the uh the part where Uncle Phil kind of took me. It, it was weird because at first I didn't know how he was wrong, how he was gonna come, but I I fuck with his character. And how I fuck like, with Phil. Yeah, I yeah. fuck with Phil. You feel me? But I'm like, I don't like how they call him a corrupt cod because I'm just like. First off, this man Will got caught with a first gun. This is his first offense. He then it was gonna go home like, like that. Yeah. Like literally, like all he did was do the same shit that white people do for their children: get that shit thrown out and no charges. You feel me? Like they was gonna, but it's like that was his first offense, so he was gonna go home. I'm like, yeah. And then this is like the, the the other crazy part was his friend. Like that was just like how niggas hate that. You know, when you finally get a come up, you feel me? Now that 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 upset me, bro. Because because yeah. honestly, at this point, even you, bro, even me and you, right, we could lose each other as examples. When you make it to a certain point of life where you decide to live differently and you decide to do something positive or do something for yourself, anybody who doesn't support you beyond that, bro, is not your friend. Exactly. And 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 that's how I feel, man. I feel like you should give people you should give people grace, right? You you should give people grace, but but. Ultimately, you can't let them damage you or hurt you, right? So if you choose to do something better and put yourself in a better position, the people around you who really care about you, they're gonna cheer they you. They're gonna fuck with you. You feel me? They're gonna yeah. fuck with that, regardless of whether whether it's not it, 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 if it's with them or not. Cause I'm like, shit, I had a friend that moved away and I'm like, gee, I'm like that, bro. That was the best thing you could do for yourself, bro. I'm glad that you did it. You feel me? Like I kept telling him to do it, you feel me? And he did it, shit. And I was like, yeah, that's the best thing you can do. Like, you can be you in a better environment and all that shit. And so I'm like, I just hate when, you know, like, that was that was one of the many things that stood out. I'm like, I'm like, damn, he hating that, you know, he can finally be like, shit, y'all not in the, he not in the hood. You feel me? Like, like you say, motherfuckers getting shot. You got shot. You feel me? Like, the motherfucker was trying to shoot you, got shot. You dead. Like, why would he, why would you want to go back to that? Yeah, you the, yeah, you the man of your city. You can still be like that. It don't mean that you want to still know you. The, you the people who matter. You feel you know me exactly. Like that's what I'm saying. Like it was just that was just a whole 
crazy dynamic that I'm like, I'm glad that they showed that. And I'm glad and I'm kind of mad that they did show it because at the end of the day, that's how a lot of motherfuckers act when you you put yourself in a better situation. Right. Like they, they want to bring you back to to that to that fuck that fucked up part. You feel me? Right. Bro, the, the, the four or five square radius of blocks that I grew up in should not dictate my whole life, bro. Exactly. And that's yeah. period. And that's yeah. period. And, and a lot of people, unfortunately, especially in the inner city, they never leave them blocks and yeah. they don't and they don't realize what's out there because and honestly, I, I, I call it I, I don't want to say this like this. I want to say this first. Sometimes it's means, right? They don't have the means to do so. But other times, bro, it comes out of fear because I know a lot of them who are getting money who just won't leave that because it's what they're used to. You know what I'm saying? And it takes somebody like me or like you to step outside the box for them to be like, damn. Bro, doing that, like, okay, like that's that's yeah. decent. Like, damn, why, like, like, why'd you go over there? Why'd you do that? Because I wanted to. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, that's an answer. Some people can't even fathom that. You know what <laughs> what I mean? Some people can't even fathom that. Like, man, you just did that shit. Yeah, we did that shit. You know what I'm saying? No, so, definitely. And that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm like I say, I, like I say, I'm glad that they showed that, and I'm glad that. Um, I kind of, I'm mad that they did, but I'm glad that you know, you, it, it's just like one of those instances where you gotta, you know grow up and let motherfuckers go and you know move on with your life you feel me because it's like you like i say he in a better position like the man still hooping you know he doing his thing it's like and you know you you, you surrounded in a good environment with people that care about you shit no so, doubt and then you what the thing is you have better opportunities with these people that you're around you feel me like this it's more networking opportunities involved more people exposure like it like even though like i say he was doing this thing in Philly, but it's just like you got an opportunity and bigger opportunities out here to feel to take back to Philly if you ever want to go back. You feel and who want to leave a mansion, bro? I'm not leaving no mansion. No, I'm not leaving no mansion to go live back in the crib, like especially in Philly. I was like, he's like, you, did you get to watch an episode? Yeah, he watched them all. I watched them all. I'm up to date. I'm, I'm watching the new, right. the new episode come out today. Uh, I mean, at midnight, shit. Oh yeah, yeah, facts. I'm facts, facts. Tonight. I'll probably watch that motherfucker tonight if I'm up. But yeah, yeah, what did you think of it then? I fuck with it. Like it's it, it's definitely a different take on um on um what we thought, but it's it, what like, you think I, of Carlton's I think, character. I gotta say that man was a fucking coon at the beginning, but like I say, he better start dancing soon. Some, some likes and shit, but it's like you right, let right. them get away with with the uh, Bobby Schmurter song. Oh man, yeah, no, nah, that shit. Like I said, it was he, hard. I was like, "Come like, on, bro." Like I said, it was like I said, he a fucking, he was a fucking coon, but he, oh. he woke up. He, he, well, I mean, he finally woke up. You feel me? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I, I, we we talked we talked about it uh, a minute ago. I was saying that sometimes people's environments dictate their culture, right? He just did that shit. He got so used to it that it, he didn't even think about it. But to Will, it was like. You know, if everybody listening, I know y'all don't know what we're talking about right now, but if you haven't watched Bel Air, the new Fresh Prince, I, I recommend it, man. It gives you a different perspective of uh, the story of uh, uh, Will Smith or, or, you know, the Fresh Prince in general. Um, check it out. But uh, it's a lot of lessons in there. It's a lot of lessons and it brings a lot of stuff to the light, like like his hating ass best friend. I'm not leaving. I'm, I'm not leaving no mansion to go back to the hood. And play with you. What? <laughs> right. he, he said, man, you sure gonna miss this when you come back to Philly, ain't you? I was like, what? <laughs> you know? Like, what am I missing? Right, exactly. And if you had this opportunity, look, look would you, when you, if you had this opportunity, will you leave? No, yeah, you wouldn't. Uh, that's what I'm saying. No, you wouldn't, bro. Quit playing. And then the other like I said, he just, he just had one of those cases where his homie felt missed out and he was gonna move on without him or whatever, you feel me? Yeah, if he would have shut up, he was because the thing is, what, what killed me with the line, he it was the line where he was like, You supposed to do all the spectacular things and just tell me about it. No, motherfucker, go do your own shit. Or, or bro, try to get on board. My auntie, like, like you, bro. If you really yeah. want to get away, they got a big ass house. I'm sure they would have been like, Shit, you know, whatever. Yeah. My opportunities are your opportunities, bro. Like, you ain't in this alone. Graduate from high school, fam. Yeah, what you saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what you mean? Like, just make sure, you, like, you get a job, stay out here, feel me, you feel me? Like, we can make, figure it out. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's just, like, Shorty just was so stuck on motherfuckers getting a better opportunity, being put in a better position than him. 
Yeah, it was jealousy, bro. He, yeah. he, 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 he was so busy being jealous, he didn't realize the opportunity for him as well. You know what I'm saying? They flew you out there, bro. You ain't pay a dollar. His people yeah. just flew you out here. <laughs> like, what you talking about? Now you want to go home early? Go your ass home. Then you go back home and tell motherfuckers what? Like, I don't want to, like, that I ain't want to come back home. Will, man. I ain't fucking with Will, man. He living in a mansion out there, pool parties and shit, shit. You seen Jeffrey oh, pull a hit. <laughs> you say you seen Jeffrey do a hit. Oh, maybe yeah. Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey hey, hey hold on. Let, let's talk Jeffrey. about Jeffrey. Jeffrey my, with the shit. Mind. I fuck with this Jeffrey. Fod mom. <laughs> like, shit, I always fuck with Jeffrey. He was funny as hell, but I fuck with this Jeffrey. Jeffrey with the hey. shit. Like, he's, like, I, he's like, I'm a bad man. I'm, boy, this man is going to be out here whacking shit, boy. He, hey, he, hey, he, homie he, said, he, homie took care of he said, yeah, we gave, he said, dude's still asking about Will. Got people looking for Will. He's like, yeah, yeah, we gave him that money. He was like, uh, uh, so shoot, how much he asking for? He's like, it don't matter. We ain't giving it to giving him. Giving it to him. I'm, uh, <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. I was like, all right. Well, I shit, boy. He said he was out there in them London streets. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, they got this, Jeffrey. Like I said, if y'all haven't checked it out, we don't want to be, you know, too too, too many spoilers. But if you ain't checked out Bella, definitely go check it out. We on episode six or seven. Y'all ass is this <laughs> over with. Yeah, hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. See, yeah. Ogden, man. Ogden, man. The shit, the shit. I've been bumping the shit, right? Hell yeah, hell yeah. What's the, what's the feedback, man? What, what's the feedback you're getting from people? I want to know, I want to know, like, like, like the most, because you know, in, in an artist's head, when they put out new music, right? Yeah. There's always something that that sticks in your head that somebody says about a track that you that that you know that you drop. If you could think about like something somebody said that stuck with you, bro, what 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 is? What I mean, be- I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't know if it's too much what people have said, but like just the reaction I'm seeing, especially Spotify. Like, shout out Spotify for their algorithms working right now because. I can tell, like, even on some other platforms, like, Spotify is really the one that's really driving the engagement. So, like, right. right now, if you go to the page, like, for a long time, all my tracks, and I used to be, like, kind of hurt that I know, like, other people can see this, but, like, you know, all my tracks used to say, like, less than a thousand, less than a thousand. I'm like, damn, like, why can't it just be some just streaming? put the number up there, bro. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I'm like, why can't it just be, like, streaming or something? Like, it's it's got to be, like, SoundCloud or something where you show the play count. Right. Like, Damn, this is crazy. So, you know, it always used to bug me. But, you know, I put this one out. Um, Like like I said last episode, you know, we got Madani on it. And I'm sure that the release radar worked this time because the release radar, you know, it, it's like a – personalized playlist for you that it'll give you joints that you that they think that you know you would like and stuff like that so i'm sure it sent it to the top of the list to all his fans and whatnot and these people gave it a chance they said okay madani on it they gave it a chance and they liked it now to me like i said it wasn't anything verbal but like you know it's like two thousand plays right now in like a couple days like maybe like eight or nine days it says like you know, 1349 monthly listeners. So that's, you know, 1349, you know, uh, distinct listeners, distinct people. But um, to me, what it says to me that wasn't really verbalized is that, yeah, you came from Adani, but you stayed for C because at the end of the day, like, I got a long, long verse on there. Like something I thought about before even releasing the track was, was, you know, uh, are people going to get verse fatigue or something like that? Are people going to get tired of the verse? Cause I'm spitting a long time. And then even what I made the hook was really part of just, you know, the verse at large. So you could sit there and be like, damn, like, you know, where we at, where we at with it. But, um, you know, what people have said, at least in the discord and whatnot is that, you know, it's fire. Everybody's saying it's fire. Um, oh, definitely fire. Like it's, it's definitely like, fire rappers that i uh respect you know shout out black matt gotta get him on the pod soon but i saw him right on his story and he liked it and stuff like that you know he's he's the homie but he's somebody who who are you know his opinion matters and he he don't be posting every track you know what i mean so when he posted that joint i was like okay 
And I'm seeing a lot of people like that. You know, there's just a lot of people who are like peers and stuff like that. You know, like shout out Billy Hoyle too, man. Billy Hoyle you know, he was on our on our episode. He he just liked the video that was posted. And and when when it was crazy, like you know, when I searched Buddy's name, I seen I seen a long time ago. I seen a long time ago on Twitter. I actually had to double take and be like, "That's the same Billy Hoyle." Like I seen I seen Billy post post the remix that he did of a Madani song a couple years back. So I was thinking, like, man, I'm waiting. Like Billy should know. Billy should know what time it is. And right. I saw him like the post today. So I was like, okay. Like it just goes to show. Like all right. People really tapped in, and then like, you know, uh, you know, shout out Barlin from the Chord. I'd say as far as like verbalizing that stuff, he, you know, we was I was really talking to him about it, and I was like, he was just like, yo, it's just a good track, bro. And I was telling him like, yo, every time I listen to it, it's like, it's got replay value. And the one thing that I was scared about is that long ass verse. So I was like, man, I don't know, you know what I mean, but. Every time I listen to it, something that I do notice is that, you know, I guess this is just a musician's brain, but the, you know, the certain vocal inflections and tones over the beat kind of make it so it's not like, you know, it's not boring or something like that. Every time I listen to it, that's the little stuff that gets me to keep listening to it. And what I was telling him was he he low-key agreed with, I was like, hey, man. This is low key the the underground of the backpack dreams and nightmares, because uh, I spit this long ass verse and then all of a sudden you know here's homie's verse at the end, and it's like it's it's kind of triumphant and whatnot and you know dreams and nightmares, that's that iconic, uh, you know Meek Mill track where he spits the long verse before uh, the beat finally like really drops and then he goes crazy. Hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> So it's one of those joints where I'm like, it it shouldn't really work on paper. It's just two long ass verses, and then here's the hook at the end and whatnot. But and it's a it's a beat that doesn't have drums on it. Like let's remember, yeah, you just got it's the guitar wailing and yeah. it's two niggas just rapping. So it's like <laughs> you know, like, I like that shit though. That's and shit, it's three dude. minutes. It's three and a half minutes. Songs today like, like two minutes. So. It's a lot, you know. It's like, damn, this track shouldn't have worked, but it's going. Hey, you said something key, bro. Replay value. Yeah. Replay value. Hey, look, hey, look. I know I don't comment all the time, but you know I'm controversial in my motherfucking music. Yeah. When I drop shit, people be like, oh, come on, P. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> which is cool, which is cool. Yeah. Hey, bro, replay value. Yeah. This song, when I listen to this song, I could replay it and replay it and be like, all right, this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I and that and that's and that's that's key right there. That's key right there. I like it. It's a good track. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Shout out, out Cook Up, man. Shout out Cook Up, man. My boy Cook Up. I see it's like a lot of playlist ads out there. My stats is booming. So I can really see what's going on out here, man. Team working, bro. The team, the team is is working, man. Hey, man, oh, teamwork man. make a dream work every day of the week. Right. Ooh. we hey. just ready, bro. We ready. Everybody like, play their role. We get a championship. It's crazy because we you know my, get a ring. last time we I had a big feature that was Jr. You know, shout yeah. out Jr. We shout had, out Jr. I, Jr. liked the video too, so you know, to me that was huge too. It was like, fam, Jr. liked the song that you know he wasn't on. Right. Of course, he hopped on one of my songs, so he rocks with me as a rapper and all that. But the fact that he liked another song, you know what I mean? It was like, oh, OK. It's like I'm getting I'm getting some respect from the people out here. And it is good, man. We we just going to keep it going, man. Keep trying to get the momentum building, bro, because. You know, a lot of stuff can go up. A lot of stuff can go up like crazy, like. Come on, imagine the music start really going up. People really start tapping in. I seen our last episode, the Ogden episode, episode 60. That's That's been getting some notoriety. People have been tapping into that. Hey, hey man, people tap into the car, man. People exactly, tap into the exactly, car. Exactly, bro. All I know is, like, it's going to go really tap in by the time the music will. really start taking off, and then this pod is going to go way up. The COD TV is going to go way up. It just, it just oh, takes, man. you know, it takes a little bit of, Something for 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 stuff to really start. Hey, bro, if it's one thing we don't lack, it's our artistry and, and, and personality around this motherfucker. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. once that stuff starts rolling, <laughs> in, that's when we can really be like, "Yo, fifty, what's up? We heard about the network." 
Hey, man. Hey, 50, hey, 50 working with Monique, man. You see him post up? He said he's going to bring her back, which is really noble. <laughs> I miss Monique. I don't Monique. know what y'all did to Monique. her, but I'm going to bring her back. And I was he like, gonna yo, you going to put her in BMF season two. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, that'd be that crazy, is, Monique being Once BMF again, it's on. Two. Man, it's on. I can see her being in that shit, playing a big-ass yeah. drug dealer role. Oh, that'd be crazy. Oh, yeah. I know about eight Moniques from the crib. That's all I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. So she fit right in. I'm got going right now, man. Let the record <laughs> show. <laughs> hey. It's the kind, man. It's hey, the it's the kind, bro. Episode 61. That's it. Ain't this what they've been waiting for? You ready? Uh, uh, I used to pray for times like this, to rhyme like this, so I had to grind like that, to shine like this, in a matter of time I spent on some locked up shit, in the back of the paddy wagon, cuffs locked on wrist, see my dreams unfold, nightmares come true, it was time to marry the game, and I said yeah I do, if you want it you gotta see it with a clear eye view, Got shorty, she try and bless me like I said I chew Like a nigga sneeze, nigga please for them tricky squeeze I'm getting cream, never let them hoes get in between And we'll be started, little nigga but I'm lying hearted They love me when I was stuck and they hated it When I departed, I go and get it regardless Draw like I'm an artist, no crawling Went straight to walking with foreigns in my garages Are foreign bitches menaging, fucking sucking and swallowing Anything for a dollar, they tell me get him, I got him, got him I did it without an album I did shit with Mariah Little nigga, I'm on fire Icy as a hockey ring, Philly nigga, I'm flyer When I bought the Rolls Royce, they thought it was lease Then I bought that new Ferrari, hey, the rest in peace Hey, the rest in peace, rest in peace to the parking lot Phantom so big, can't even fit in the parking spot You ain't talking about my niggas, then what you talking about? Gangsters move in silence, nigga, and I don't talk a lot I don't say a word I don't say a word was on my grind and now I got what I deserve Fuck, nigga Hold up, wait a minute Y'all thought I was finished When I bought the ass tomorrow, y'all thought it was rented Flexing on these niggas, I'm like Papa on the spinach Double M, yeah, that's my team, Rose, the captain, I'm lieutenant I'm the type of can of men casting, grind like I'm broke That Lambo, my new bitch, she don't ride like my ghost I'm riding around my city with my hands strapped on my toes Cause these niggas want me dead and I gotta make it back home Cause my mama need that bill money, my son needs some milk These niggas try to take my life, they fuck around, get killed You fuck around, you fuck around, you fuck around, get smoked Cause these Philly niggas I pull with me don't fuck around, no joke, no All I know is murder, when it come to me I got young niggas that's rolling, I got niggas throwing bees I done did the DOA, I done did the KODs Every time I'm in that bitch I get to throwing dirty G's But now I'm hanging out that drop head, I'm riding down no collars They let my nigga earn back home, that young nigga be wildin' We young niggas, we mobbin', like Batman and we're robbin' This two-door made back with my seat on reclining I'm like, real nigga, what up? Real nigga, what up? If you ain't about that murder game, then pussy nigga, shut up If you dip me in your ass, I get your pussy ass stuck up When you touch down in my hood, know that toy life ain't good Catch me down in M.I.A. At that heat game on wood With that puma life on my feet, like that little engine I could Boy, I slide down in your block, back on 12 o'clock And they be throwing deuces on the same nigga they watch And I'm the king of my city, cause I'm still calling them shots And these lanes talking that bullshit, the same niggas that flop I'm the same nigga from first to with them that brains that lock The same nigga that came up and I had to wait for my spot And these niggas hating on me, hoes waiting on me Still on that hood shit, my Rolls Royce on E They gon' remember me, I say remember me So much money at your friends turn to your enemies And when this beef I turn my enemies to memories With them bricks they go for 40, ain't no 10 to key Hold up, broke nigga turn rich Love the game like Mitch And if I leave you, they dumb pretty hoes gon' still suck my dick It was something about that rollie when he first touched my wrist Had me feeling like that dope boy when he first touched